A Blueprint for Transforming the Planet. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 232. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the executive director of the One Community 51C3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 232, September 3rd, 2017 edition. As always, we'll be talking about one week of our team's progress and accomplishments, but first, let's talk about the topic of the day, which is really what One Community is all about, and that is creating a blueprint for transforming the planet. Not just creating it, but demonstrating a blueprint for transforming the planet. And our belief is that if we can demonstrate a model, a sustainable living model, and we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough, which would be arguably more attractive than the way that people are living right now, then the model will spread on its own. It will become a self-replicating model. And this is our blueprint for transforming the planet. Our idea is to demonstrate that eating sustainably and living sustainably and building sustainably and integrating a combination of the foundations of physical sustainability, which are everybody's familiar with, their food, energy, and housing, and combining those with the foundations for emotional sustainability, which we've identified as high good education, high good economic models, fulfilled living models, and truer stewardship models, and putting those together as an evolution of sustainability to provide a way of living that provides more of the things that people want, more time to experience those things, in an environment that is self-sufficient, self-sustainable, good for the planet, good for community, good for the people living there, provides healthier food, cleaner air, cleaner water, and also works as part of a global cooperative working for the highest good of all life on this planet in its ultimate expression, but doesn't have to be built that way. We believe that that is a blueprint for transforming the planet that really could succeed. And not just succeed, you know, 100 years from now, but succeed within our lifetime. And the math on this, and everything that you see in the background, first, let me just address that everything that you see in the background of this video is what we've already created in the direction, in this direction, as a blueprint for transforming the planet. And now we just continue to work on all the details, bringing it together so that we have complete construction plans and do-it-yourself tools, tutorials, resources, and other uh, provided resources for replicating everything that we're creating, either as individual components or as a complete model. And the complete model is the blueprint for transforming the planet. That's what one community is meant to be, a place where people can come and visit and experience this blueprint for transforming the planet. And if they like what it is that they see, if they like what it is that they experience, if they want to replicate, if you want to replicate the complete model, you could do that. You could build your own self-sufficient, self-sustainable community, either in a remote location or in an urban environment, or just take some component of what it is that we're doing and replicate that. But the math on this is what's really exciting. The math, and what I mean by that is one community is meant to start with 50 people. There's a landing party of 20 people that, that start and do the site surveying and get the basics initiated and prepare the property for the next 30 people. Within six months then, we're capable, we will be capable of bringing on another 50 people to help with the construction process. But if we were to only start with 50 people and our goals weren't as grand as building seven sustainable villages, which is what you see happening in the video in the background here. If our goals were just to build one sustainable village, enough to house 150 to 200 people, but built with 50 people and then sharing that as an ecotourism destination to generate sufficient revenue to maintain itself and to expand if people want to, to pay off people's debt and to live the lifestyle that people want to live. If that was our only goal, and if that goal, well, if the whole goal of one community stimulates just two additional communities to start in the first year after we have started building, and those two communities are only 50 people, and if those two communities inspire four more communities to start the year following that, and if those four communities inspire eight more communities, and those inspire 16, and then 32, and then 64, and so on and so forth, each year inspiring twice as many communities by looking at the ones that are already up and running, the successes that are already happening, people that are already building this way, and what that has to offer. And as one community comes online and starts hosting you know, hundreds, and then thousands, and then tens of thousands of people annually, visiting and experiencing what it is, as we build additional community models, 
and we build the global cooperative and the global collaborative working together to provide even more open source tools, tutorials, and resources, expanding the blueprint for transforming the planet to include additional models, additional sustainability options. If that process stimulates two, then four, then eight, then 16, that multiplication process, if it starts that self-replicating process and you run the numbers, we could arguably transform the entire planet into one that works for everybody within our lifetime, within 30 years, we could do that. And the beauty, the beauty of all this, the most beautiful part is that it doesn't require all seven or nine billion people as the case would be, or even larger than that to be on board. It really only requires a small percentage, not even half, to be a tipping point for changing the paradigm for how people live right now. And this is what One Community is all about. We're about changing the paradigm. The, our blueprint for transforming the planet doesn't require everybody to participate. It only requires a small percentage of people to participate. And it's designed to provide something for everyone. So people that want to continue to have their private jets and their mansions and everything can do that. And there's still open source tools, tutorials, resources, blueprints, do-it-yourself instructions that we think could be contributed to those people to help lower the cost of living sustainability and possibly get them involved. But for people that, but for people that really want a completely different way of living that we believe will be considered by most to be far superior to the way that they're living right now, this is what our blueprint is all about. This is what we're focused on. If you'd like to receive, read a great book about this, there is a book called A Blueprint for Trans, called The Next Evolution, A Blueprint for Transforming the Planet, that goes into extensive detail. This book was written completely separately from one community. And when we found it, we read it, we're like, wow, this is amazing. We are so in alignment with this vision. Very similar. And we've worked in collaboration now with the author of that book, Jack Reed. We'd highly recommend it. And we've evolved everything that we've done way way into, into the complete details for housing and food and energy and fulfilled living practices. So that's a great starter and something that I'd highly recommend that you read. And our goal is to provide the nuts and bolts for actual implementation, to provide the do-it-yourself instructions, the plans, the tutorials, the resources, to make it easy enough, affordable enough, and to demonstrate itself as one community and as attractive enough so that the idea will spread itself. This is what one community is all about. This is how we're creating a blueprint for transforming the planet. And now let's jump into one week of our all volunteer nonprofit teams, progress and accomplishments. One week of our progress and accomplishments working towards this goal. Here it is. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do it yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, continued SketchUp design for the open source outdoor areas of the Recycled Materials Village Pod 6. We continued designing the cable spool tables and seats to match existing designs found online, and also designed a bicycle rack that uses recycled tires. We also completed the table and bench made from tires. The core team also continued development of the Treehouse Village Pod 7 renders shown here, revising and retouching the flower pots and other aesthetic elements. Joss Ilunga, electrical engineer, completed his fourth week working on the electrical design details for the vermiculture bathrooms. This week's focus was the final breaker panel design, riser detail, and initial cost analysis. We'd say we are now 80% complete with the electrical design details for this component. Heymanth Kodera, structural engineering master's student, completed his fifth week with us by conducting additional Earthbag Village construction research. This week's focus was more French drain and flooring research, and you can see a summary of the findings so far here. And Christian Ojeda, mechatronic engineer, completed his 25th week helping with the plumbing details for the heat recycling communal eco shower, vermiculture bathroom, and net zero communal bathroom designs. This week's work was adding shower head, drain pipe, and water heater details. This brings us to 95% complete with the plumbing for the whole Earthbake Village. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here is update 82 of Dean's work, continuing to test and develop the lighting from the skylights and windows for the central dining and presentation hall. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, 
also finished his 53rd week helping with the compressed earth block village design and render details. This week's focus was finishing this final high quality render for the second floor game and recreation room, which you can see here, and is now added to the website. Aparna Tandon, architect, continued her work on the compressed earth block village external elements. What you see here is her 32nd week of work, focusing on additional elevation and texture details for the central area between the north and south residential wings. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, continued helping with the treehouse village renders. This week, he took over stairway design for the living structures. You can see the beginnings of his design work here. Samantha Robinson, 3D designer, completed a fifth week working on the interior design for the living structure of the treehouse village. This week's focus, as shown here, was shelving behind the bed on the main floor and custom door design. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team working with Fall Guin Patil, mechanical engineer, created a new 100% off-grid energy setup for the Eco Village construction page, sharing our work designing the complete energy setup and rollout process for 100% off-grid Eco Village. You can see screenshots of the page here. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, continued work on the city center structural engineering tutorial. What you see here is his fifth week of writing content. This week's content focus was wind gust calculations and considerations. Dipti Dondarkar, electrical engineer, continued with her 48th week of work on the lighting specifics for the city center. This week's focus was combining the spotlight lighting plan with the tabletop and loft overhang plan to visualize and test all the lighting together, as shown here. Bomzi Puller Gertha, mechanical engineer, also continued work on the thermal lag research and reports for the city center heating and cooling open source hub. What you see here is some of last week's work and how it ties to the most recent calculations for heat loss and retention by the basement and into the surrounding soil. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued editing the food pages. We added the suggested initial dry pantry section of the food procurement and storage plan and the bulk dried goods section of the food self-sufficiency transition plan pages, as you see here. The core team also updated the transition kitchen with new cost analysis details, additional hexayer resources, and better formatting and menus. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team continued the process of a final proofreading and editing of all 52 lesson plans. This week, we completed the reality lesson plan and the fulfilled living lesson plan. This brings us to 50 of 52 finished, which is approximately 96% completion. Working with Sungum Stanzek, PhD in PE, we also finished behind the scenes development of the documentation for the evaluation and evolution component and finished four rounds of testing the use of the documents. You can see some of this work here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team invested several more hours developing the graphics showing where all our collaborators and volunteers are from. The focus was continuing to add and organize people into their respective locations in the master layer for the video map. This information will be featured in our overview video and on the team page. You can see here this work in progress. Ashwin Patil, web developer, began creation of the Highest Good Society search engine version 2.0, integrating suggested edits and missing pages. You can see some of this work in progress here, and we'd say this search engine is now 50% complete. In addition to this, Neha Verma, 
Software Development Manager, finished her third week helping with the development of the Highest Good Network software. This week's focus was learning the basics of Ember.js through online tutorials, as shown here. Well, there you have it. There's one week of our team's progress accomplishments working towards this goal and creating a blueprint for transforming the planet. This is what One Community is all about. This is our process. Now you've seen one week of our, of our accomplishments. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, visit our written blog, visit our website. We have hundreds of pages that have been written. There have been well over 100,000 hours put into this project and the amount of work and effort by our all volunteer team is extensive. If you'd like to help, visit our helping page. There's lots of different ways to participate and get involved with our project from being a community volunteer to join the pioneer team, the people that will move to the property and build all that is one in community, or just sharing our information on social media. If you want to be a part of uh, forwarding and promoting a blueprint for transforming the planet, share information. Like this video, help us get the word out, and of course, Thanks to everybody that's already doing this. Thank you for the emails that we get. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the subscriptions that we get to our YouTube channel and to all of our other social media uh, platforms. Thank you for the small donations that we get, for all the donations that we get. They help keep us running. As I said before, we are a 100% volunteer nonprofit organization. So 100% of all donations go to forwarding our mission, to covering the operational expenses of running one community without paying any of us a salary. Everybody's a volunteer, so thanks for the donations, thanks for the likes, thanks for the comments, thanks for the shares, and of course, thanks for watching till the end. Till next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thank you.